Good evening, everyone. Reverend Beth Simmons here with your midweek moment. Um, I had actually recorded and uploaded a whole different message, um, which is not fully posted or made public yet, um, and realized that I needed to do something different given the events in Lewiston, Maine. Um, if I changed my sermon or changed my midweek moment every time there was a mass shooting in the U.S., I would never talk about anything else. But this one is literally closer to home. Um, I have family in Maine. Not in Lewiston, but um, I know many of us have connections to Maine here in Hancock and just feel um, neighborliness with a state that borders us and is culturally very close to ours in many ways. And in addition to this grief and violence and fear nearby, across the world, in Gaza, continuing fear and destruction and injury and death and um, I was listening to NPR this afternoon this evening um, and there was a woman on there speaking who uh, is from Israel and her father is one of the 200 odd people who have been kidnapped by Hamas he's 79 years old and she challenged, called, requested that United States clergy speak out in support of the release of the hostages as a humanitarian issue of justice. And so I'm heeding that call. Uh, her brother, who also spoke, I think it was her brother, um, made the assertion that no matter where you fall on political lines or idealistically taking hostages is unacceptable, particularly civilian hostages. So I would urge those who have the power to do so to negotiate however possible and those, not that they'll probably see my video, but to add my voice to those calling for the immediate release of the hostages in Gaza. The world is hard today, folks, for these big reasons and for so many little ones. So be gentle with yourself, be gentle with each other, hold each other tight, be kind, find ways to deal with your anger that don't involve violent actions or words towards others or towards yourself. I'm going to light a candle in memory of those lost in Lewiston uh, in honor of those who are fighting for their lives and all of the emergency workers and medical professionals and non-medical hospital workers who are 
supporting those injured and those dead, funeral directors, and for the families and the friends and the neighbors and communities who are in shock and saddened and still afraid and locked away in their homes. One single flame can light up the darkness. The light of God is in each one of us. May we shine our individual lights, which together glow and shine and drive out that which tries to cast us into shadow. We pray for peace. We pray with hope. We pray in love. Amen.